Welcome to Noodles Italian Cafe and Sushi Bar. I'm Chef Seth Berman and I welcome you to my kitchen. I'm continuing on my theme of risotto. Uh, this going into springtime soon, talk about risottos. Uh, back three, four, five episodes ago, I showed you how to make the risotto from scratch. So you can travel back in time to see that. But today we're gonna do an Italian stir fry. Here at Noodles Cafe, people have often asked, are you guys crazy? How do you do Italian and Japanese? The answer is, it's all about our love for food. We really love food, we really love the variety, the flavors that God gave us to enjoy. It's not just about one item, it's all kinds of flavors. So by incorporating the two cultures together, uh, here in the restaurant with a separate Asian sushi bar, and in my Italian kitchen separate, uh, it allows me to play around and, and offer a lot of different varieties. So this play on Italian stir fry is kind of east meets west. So I want to show you how I do it, okay? So, we talked before about sauteing and the things that go into it. You want to use a hot pan, right? Here we have all our ingredients. We have uh, fresh broccoli, peppers, sliced mushrooms, chop up a tomato, onions, garlic, zoto, parsley. This is called petite tenderloin. And it's the inside shoulder muscle. And it's probably one of the second most tenderest cuts of meat. We use it here a lot at the restaurant. So filet mignon is number one. And as you know, so this petite filet, what they call petite filet, it's not actually a filet at all. Uh, tenderloin, it's inside a piece there of the shoulder. So I cut it into strips. You can use this for all kinds of things. Fajitas, um, steak salad. It's got some fat marbling, a little more than a filet mignon does. So it has more flavor, all right? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start out with some of this meat. First, we gotta get our pan hot. We use a little bit of the canola oil. All right, you can see the oil is nice and hot. A little bit of pepper and salt on the meat. Gotta season it well. So we're gonna start that in there. So this is a portion for one. So obviously if you're making for two, you can double it up. These pieces are thin, so they're gonna cook fairly quickly. We're gonna add onions. We're gonna add our mushrooms. We got peppers, red and green peppers. Pull that meat up top, and let those veggies cook. I'm gonna touch this, just a touch, with a little bit of olive oil. Add that oil really start to get everything, all the flavors coming together. I have a funny ingredient to add. I can't really say it. Watch this just here, watch this just here sauce. We're gonna add a little bit of that. That's about a quarter of a cup. I'm just going to add about, I'd say, two tablespoons instead of soy sauce. You'd add soy sauce if this was an Asian stir fry. Veggies are about three quarters of the way done. I'm going to add the risotto right in the middle. Get that risotto back to your finger over there. Everything is hot. The risotto needs just a little, a little more time to get hot. Add a little cheese if you'd like. This is your food, Italian stir fry. Enjoy, bon appetito. Noodles Italian stir fry. Tune in every Wednesday for Noodles recipes, tips, and tricks. And don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel at Chef Seth Berman.